And action! Brothers Bistro. Recipe so simple, even a dude can make it. I'm Skinny Kenny. I'm Musclehead Ken. And, and we're the Clark Brothers. Welcome, Welcome to Brothers Bistro. What do we got on tap tonight? We are in the kitchen in Colorado. It's heating up a little bit, but we got a summertime favorite. Well, the good news is Denver's like 100 degrees and it's only like 80 up here. <laughs> Still feels pretty toasty. Yeah, I sure. But we are cooking something super simple tonight. Chicken nuggets with buffalo sauce and kale, kale chips. chips. Who doesn't like a nuggie? I, I love a nuggie. I've never made my own nuggies. No. Anymore. Usually they're the McDonald's ones, I don't know, it's parts and pieces and they're breaded yeah. and fried. And so these are, we know we're getting good quality meat and we're not going to have any breaded and there's no frying action happening with this one. But you're going to see, super simple, in fact, couldn't be simpler. Yeah, that's right, that's right. That's what we, that's our specialty. That is our specialty. Yeah, and I think the whole meal probably costs us three dollars. So, you know, if you're on a budget, this is the way to do it. And they're talking about all these grocery stores and the, and the inflation of, of, of groceries, but. Man, this is a cheap meal. That's right. And if you aren't on a budget, then you just go out with Ken. Ha, 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 let him pay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Looks Ready? pretty good. Well, it's super simple, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I thought you were going to chop up the kale. No, no, no tears were shed. <laughs> no tears were shed. We got the chicken. We okay. got about two and a half pounds. I think the recipe calls for two pounds. But we're planning on a little shrinkage and, you know, a little extra protein never hurt anybody. And that's, I think, four, ser four servings, right? right Something sure. like that. And then the kale, we got it. We went to the kale section and we looked at the kale and it would have been a lot of work to chop that up. So we opted for the easy version and we got the sh stuff that's already uh, pre-chopped. Already pre-chopped. Well, and I've got the stuff that's, we're gonna marinate our chicken in our pickle juice. Yep, pickle so. juice, we're gonna marinate that. And then we've got the stuff that's gonna make up the buffalo sauce. We've got sesame seed oil and we got a couple of different hot versions sauce. of hot sauce. So, wow, you can't get much simpler than that. Very simple. Cow. And I think cooking time is actually pretty low too. It's left like five minutes for the chicken, but we gotta marinate it for at least 15 minutes. Okay, so, so that's what we're gonna do. It All is, right. that's right. And then I heard through the grapevine that the chef had some new implements. The chef has some new implements, but we're gonna hold off because you know we're gonna have to, we're gonna do a special unboxing. I know, I know, but oh. then I, I thought uh, we could show that the next. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, use them, okay. Up on. You could talk me into that. I mean, they've been sitting here for a few days. They're dying to be used. Okay. All we gotta do is take this pickle juice and put it in the bowl. Yeah, but we need a cup. You think we have a cup? We didn't buy any more pickles, so well, I hope there's a cup. I got a cup. Ah! Well, we need a cup of juice. Yeah, so I hired the fireman so, so he can open up the can. Let's see if he opens it. Oh, oh, easy, yeah. no problem. All right, how do you suppose, what's the best way to get the juice in there and no pickles? Oh, well, you just do it like this. It's smelly. I thought you were going to give me something hard. It's smelly. I can smell it from here. Got it? I thought you were going to fly over Put it in there. Roll and let Put it in there. We don't want all the water because this was frozen chicken tenders because yeah. we're doing little uh, nuggies. Little, little nuggies. nuggies. And when, once it gets done marinating for 15 minutes, we're going to chop it up into bite sized chunks. They, they say one inch squares. Okay. So coming in close for the close up shot. Here we go. Last couple of pieces, and that's it. And then we wow. push them in, and Let it's them... got to sit in this juice for how long? 15 minutes, baby. Okay, 15 minutes. We're going to see you guys back here at 15. Okay, here we go. Ready? I'm going to pull these Serve bad boys one, buddy. out of the pickle juice. I think the pickle juice was just there to tenderize it a little bit. Because you, you don't want your uh, chicken to, to I'm taste. I'm pretty impressed. Cooks. We're trying out our new Cutco. Wow. It's pretty impressive. Holy cow. Okay, they're supposed to be one inch squares, whatever that means. One inch squares? Yeah, because they're supposed to be nugget sized. So these aren't going to be one inch squares. And you're just reaching in with your hands. You wash your hands, buddy? Yeah, yeah. Oh, come on. You think I'm a new guy? <laughs> well, that was pretty nice. That kale was easy to chop. Well, <laughs> it came out of the bag, but it was dry. So, because normally when you're chopping these things up, you would wash them and all that they would have a little residue of moisture. We're gonna spray this and toss some oil so that the salt and pepper that we put on there is gonna, is gonna stick. Well, I'm feeling the aerosol, but I'm not feeling any actual oil. You're not, no? No, there I am. <laughs> okay, that's good, that's good. Okay, that so now, deep. let's get a little wood. We barely have enough salt in here. 
pepper. All right. And then toss those. You've already got your hands on it, Gary. I'll let you do it. Okay. <laughs> so you toss it around, kind of like popcorn in the bowl, huh? A little bit, yeah. Mixing up that salt. We want to mix the salt and pepper up good. No, we didn't put a lot of salt and pepper on. And one thing we've learned about salt is you're always better to go light with the salt because you can add salt later, but if it's too salty when you're done, it kind of ruins the meal. Yeah. Okay, so, so now we're gonna we're gonna make a thin layer of kale. All right. And we might need two pans, so we got two pans kind of ready to go. Is that enough, or can we have, get good. it all in one? No, I, I think you can spread yours around. You can take some of this if you want. It said don't crowd it, so we're just right. trying to adhere to the program here. Okay, now we're gonna put this in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes. <laughs> Yep. And we don't want to burn it. We want to crisp it. Put this in. Kevin's got to get his hands dirty this time. And mix that up. And then we're going to sprinkle in a quarter teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of pepper. And like we said before, you got to be a little easy with the salt because you can't undo the salt. And we got these little parchment paper to help make it non-stick and it, they're actually cool because they're pre-cut. Pre-cut and folded in nice little quarter sheets, which I love. If you know my brother, he's in his anal retentive nature, it, it sings to him. Yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna get that going and then we're gonna go into the oven with it. And the kale has got about six more minutes to go. The chicken should take about six Ooh. more minutes as well. Ooh, Smell. might be burning a little bit. Let's see. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we opened it just in time. Didn't we? Bam! Wow. Those okay. are little bitty chips. Let's put this in here and let it cook. And those things only took a little while, so maybe we'll do it again. Off yeah. camera. Yeah, we'll do. We got more kale, so we'll make some more kale chips. So we're gonna make the buffalo sauce now. We're gonna put six tablespoons. Now we weren't sure if we had enough, so pick the fullest one. See if we got six tablespoons of that and put it in there. And I'm going to put four teaspoons of this sesame oil in there. One, two, three, four. Winner! We got our kale chips, but these ones are a little more easy. I got to do six. six. Jeez. That's our timer. I'm gonna check on the kale chips. Okay, they still look okay. And I think the chicken needs to go for a little bit longer. It doesn't even look brown. How'd you do? Getting this is five. And it's not red because we used the green tomato, the hot sauce, the green hot sauce. So it's not gonna look per the picture. It's gonna, it's gonna look like our own concoction here. We're supposed to whisk this together. And that's what makes buffalo sauce, apparently. Sesame oil and red hot sauce. This is the chicken. Look, it doesn't look very brown, but uh, it's still pretty juicy, pretty good. Look at the kale, though. Let me do a fly over here. Look at our other kale pot. Ooh, that looks pretty good, right? And there's our chicken. All right, six ounces. That looks pretty lean and green. Why? Well, it certainly does. Whether we got our green wow. buffalo sauce on. Look at that. Okay. Let's give it a try. Let's try. I'm gonna try one. Okay. Pretty good just without nothing. The chicken didn't really brown out. Yeah. If we, we were and if we had to tell you a secret, if you can keep a secret, we had to do the uh, kale yeah. twice. Yeah. Kale chips were much more difficult than it seemed. Didn't take nearly as long, and the first batch was way overcooked. And you had to try, it was hard to tell when it was cooked because when it changed color, it just started to burn. Yeah. Wow. I like it. Yeah. I'm not sure, the hot sauce is pretty hot. I like the chicken. Yeah. Got a good flavor. The kale is really good. It's just like, it's like, I don't like, error. Yeah. Yeah, but it's yummy. It's a nice alternative to like a potato chip. Oh yeah, right. Be good. So try it out. Check it out and see what you think. Brothers uh, Bistro.
Ow! 